Okay, so in this tutorial I want to show you how to create this effect where we are slicing up um, a word in Final Cut Pro. So basically what we have is two layers of type and we're using um, one of the mask tools in Final Cut Pro to basically split that text into two layers so we can slice it up and then I've just used a straight transition um, to get those to slide together on the screen. So this is what we're aiming towards. Um, so we're going to start right from the top. Um, on my main storyline I've just got a slug so there's no video behind it or anything like that but this technique will work um, when you're placing stuff over the top of a video as well. So let's get started. We're going to go straight to the, the type tools across here on the right hand side and we're going to jump in and just search for the, the basic type tool okay so we're just using a basic title but this technique will work with any of the kind of more complex titles if you want to add something um, to those too so we've got a basic title and I'm gonna now just type in uh, some text here and we're gonna bump up the size so so we've got slice um, and dice is gonna be the, the second type that we have on here so we'll go ahead and increase the size of this okay change the font to for this uh, Gil Sans ultra bold so that works quite nicely with this kind of bold font this technique that we're, we're doing okay and basically now we're gonna keep pushing the type size up so that we're almost filling um, this screen just so that we can kind of demonstrate this clearly okay so now what we need to do is basically create a mask on this layer that will allow us to split this into two separate sections okay so under the effects across here we have underneath the video effects and masks our draw mask okay which is becoming one of my favorite uh, filters or effects in Photoshop and I'm going to drag this onto my type here okay basically once you drag the draw mask on you get a pen which allows you to click and add control points okay so I'm going to start from the top left here okay come down to the right and then I'm clicking deliberately kind of way outside and away from the text um, just because that means it's going to be easier to kind of move these things these points around a little bit later okay so basically now we have a mask for that one layer I'm gonna hold down the alt key now and then just drag this layer up okay and we'll get that same effect um, copied onto the the video layer here so we have the draw mask copied on here you can see you've got some options for the draw mask but we don't really need them for what we're doing here so basically on this second connected type layer I'm gonna go in and grab two of these points and just drag them up so that I can reveal the top half of that type so if I just highlight this clip and tap the V key you can see I've got two layers here one with the top half of the type and one with the bottom half of the type okay and that is very much it so now if we go to our transitions here okay we're going to use a movement transition and I've played around with a few um, but I find the slide one works really well I'm just going to drag a slide transition onto here and I'm going to delete the second one okay and basically now you can see my clip is sliding on nicely and because that type is placed perfectly in the middle that text is just going to lock together once it finishes that transition so I'll drag the slide onto this topmost clip as well okay delete the second one now this will produce a kind of funny effect because they're sliding from the same direction so I'm just going to come to one of these clips okay and change in the transition options the direction it's sliding from right to left so now we'll get these two bits of type locking together and we've got our slice and dice so let's uh, slice we'll just shorten these out a little bit Okay, and I'll just add a default transition in there so that fades out nice and quickly so we've got slice okay a little fade out 
and then we'll bring the dice nicely snapped right next to it. Okay, and I'm just going to flip the color of this text. So I'm going to come to the text tab in the inspector here. If you don't see your inspector, just go to Window, Show Inspector, and uh, you'll be able to bring the inspector up. Okay, and I'm going to scroll down here to the font face and just change the color. Okay, just pull this on a bit more. So we've got a nice lemon yellow there. And we'll do the same for the bottom half of this. Got yellow and we'll go for a nice blue there. So we've got slice, fade, and dice. Okay, so real simple. Um, it's probably not the best execution of the timing of the technique, but we can speed things up. Um, but it's a real nice, simple way of slicing up your type and getting a bit more animation and interest um, in your titles and your type work in Final Cut Pro. And there's a lot of creative options once you kind of understand in particular how we can use the draw mask tool okay so go ahead have a play and uh, i look forward to seeing what you come up with um, and i will catch you on the next tutorial